हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज श्रवण कुमार मंत्री वेलकम टू आर चैनल सी एस सी गुरुस मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन दट इज मैक्सिम सबारे साम विथ वन डेलीशन ऑफकोर्स इन द लीड क्वाड इट इज गिवन एज प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन वन एट सिक्स सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज रिगार्डिंग सबारे ऑफकोर्स वी हैव डन विथ सम विथ सम सब सिक्वेंस एंड सम विथ सबारे आई टोल यू आई रिपीटेड द थिंग्स लाइक वेर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सबर एंड सब सिक्वेंस वील सी दिस वन so given an array of integer written the maximum sum for a non empty subarray continuous elements of course subarray means continuous elements will be there with at most one element deletion so of course here it is telling deletion is optional if you want to delete only one element you can delete in the subarray in other words you want to choose a subarray with optionally delete one element from it so that there is still at least one element left and the sum of the remaining elements is maximum possible that we need to find it out so note that the subarray needs to be non empty after deleting that means at least one element you can have if you delete uh, let us take the examples the example 1 minus 2 0 3 so maximum sum subarray the output will be 4 why because uh, you can see we can choose all those elements and uh, you can drop one element which element i want to drop the anyway first i'll check it out negative which is a min value which is a minimum then only i'll get the maximum sum right so so minus 2 if you don't have any negative element you will check it out which is the least element anyway always the least element if you delete then you are trying to get the maximum value so here in this case i have to take the all the elements in an array so 1 minus 2 0 3 if i delete minus 2 the remaining sum 1 plus 0 plus 3 which is 4 So in other case, I don't get more than four, right? The sum. Let us suppose if I take minus two zero three, only these three elements. If I delete minus two, you will get only three. Even if I take one zero three, if I remove zero, you will get yeah, one plus three, which is I mean this is not the subarray, right? I can take one zero three. It is not a subarray. It is a subsequence. That's why in this problem you cannot take like this. So it is asking for subarray. One zero three is not a subarray. You can take zero three. You can delete zero. Then three will be answer. Or you can take only three. So here it is telling, it is an optional. You cannot delete. It's also an optional. So like this, we have one option sign. The answer is four here. And here, if you consider one minus two minus two three. So what might be our output? Three. So here, yeah, the thing you can observe. Only I have to choose three. So I don't want to delete anything. So then only I'll get the maximum. Other than this, let us suppose if I take one minus two minus two, you won't get the output. One minus two. If I take minus two, if I delete one, of course you can get, but the maximum is three, right? Only with one element you can get it. So here in this case, all are same. Then you can have anywhere minus one. Of course, I want to delete one element. Then minus one minus one. If I take one element, I want to delete. In any case, you can't get more than this, right? So this is what about the problem statement. we'll see how to solve this one anyway in the naive approach if you take in general approach if you take what will be the answer so you have to take each subarray and you have to delete one element in between and you have to get the answer which is a maximum and at most that means you will get at least the complexity as n square not less than this right so you can get at least n square might be you can go to n cube but at least you will get n square complexity So now we'll go with the answer with DP that is dynamic programming where the answer will be in big O of n. We'll see this one using dynamic programming how to solve this one maximum sum subarray where uh, we can solve with this DP using dynamic programming. So I have taken this example to make it better understanding for you. It is an array. So for this to make it in big O of n, I require two more arrays. which is something i call it as backward array okay i'll take care as forward array this is a backward array okay so the sums where i want to store from forward and here i'll store the sums from backward okay so this is what something nothing more than that it's like this array which stores from 0 to 6 and this array which stores the sum from 6 to 0 so i'll show you how to do this one step by step now the thing is how to store this values Yeah, you can see here the first thing. Anyway, in the forward approach, f of zero first value will be same. What is the value which is there in a of zero? So I'll write f of zero is same as a of zero, 
and in the backward the last one b of n minus 1 which is equals to a of n minus 1 these are by default so f of 0 which is minus 2 and here b of the last n minus 1 which is n is a 7 right 7 elements so which is 5 keep it like this so first I want to complete this one so take the next element 1 so what I need to fill it up here means minus 3 comma what is the value in the previous element f of so it's like this f of i is equals to maximum of f of i minus 1 plus a of i comma a of i so between this you have to find which is the maximum that you have to write here f of 1 which is equals to minus 3 which is which is equals to you have to write first a of i anyway i have taken minus 3 comma previous value f of 1 minus 1 0 minus 2 plus that is plus of what is the value a of i so minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 what is the minimum value i mean what is the maximum value minus 3 so i have to write that one here similarly here you can see 4 is there 4 comma a of i i am writing first 4 comma now the value is 4 what is the previous value minus 3 4 minus 3 which is 1 4 comma 1 now you can see that updated value is not i mean direct value only i have to keep here 4 comma 1 which is 4 only i have to keep now you can see now the next one if i take this one what is the previous value 4 4 minus 1 so what is the previous value 4 now the value is minus 1 so 4 minus 1 which is 3 now value inside it is minus 1 right so value inside it is minus 1 now you have to go for this one 4 minus 1 which is 3 so minus 1 comma 3 now you can see that updated value I have to store not the value inside the array so that is what which is the maximum that you have to keep similarly for this one you can see value is minus 2 I'll write here minus 2 now 3 minus 2 which is 1 which is the maximum 1 I have to keep here next for 5 1 is here previous value is 1 1 plus 1 which is 2 2 comma 1 which is 2 is a maximum now here 5 is there so previous value is 2 5 plus 2 which is 7 and anyway 5 is there 7 comma 5 which is 7 anyway if you get here positive values you will get the value updated here mostly if the value is also positive but somewhere in the negative then there, there might be changes you will get it similarly this is a forward approach i told you like starting from zero going to the six now in the backward starting from the last i am coming to the back so you can see five is there as it is now you have to do for backward the formula is b of i equals to maximum of yeah one more thing i forgot to tell you you take one more value one more uh, largest so far largest till now so that has to be taken every time you update what is the largest you are getting in this so minus 2 might be initially then it will be replaced with minus 3 is not max next 4 next 3 is not max next 1 not max already 4 is there 2 no 7 yes 7 will be there now similarly here also you have to check it out 5 is there so 7 is a max you keep it don't update now you can see the formula is maximum of a of i comma b of b of i plus 1 plus a of i so b of i plus 1 you have to take here you have a of 5 means 1 comma b of i plus 1 5 plus a of i 1 so 1 comma 6 what is the maximum 1 comma 6 6 is the maximum you have to keep here 6 and check it out 6 comma 7 which is the maximum 7 only no no need to update here like this now i have to check it out next here only you have to check it out don't go for here so here what is that next b of 4 equals to maximum of what is a of 4 minus 2 comma what is the value here you have to take 6 plus minus 2 6 plus minus 2 which is 4 so minus 2 comma 4 which is the maximum is 4 next like this if i go minus 1 here here you can see 4 comma minus 1 3 only so 3 is the maximum next if i go with 4 this one now you can check it out anyway max largest will not change right 
yeah now you can see here for b of 2 maximum of what is a of i 4 comma previous value is 3 plus of 4 right 3 plus 4 7 so that means here you will get it as 7 anyway here also 7 if i get 8 i will modify here now you can take this one minus 3 is there minus 3 comma 7 minus 3 4 so, so minus 3 comma 4 maximum is 4 and next last one is minus 2 what is minus 2 comma 4 of minus 2 2 minus 2 comma plus 2 maximum is 2 so like this we need to maintain two arrays so forward mac forward maximum value here it is a maximum from backward now why we are maintaining like this so we need to find the sum which is at most right anyway largest is updated to 7 only that means in this two arrays what is the maximum value you are getting that is 7 i updated now actual thing which we need to find it out what we need to find which is a sub array which gives the maximum at most one deletion right so that i'll take at most one deletion means middle element i need to delete right let us suppose if i take let us suppose if i take this is an sub array minus 3 4 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 of course this is not the answer but let us suppose i may delete minus 3 i may delete 4 i may delete some that means middle element might be somewhere i'll delete right so somewhere so that is what i'll check it out here now that is what i'll check it out that means here you can see what is f of 0 the sum of first element and what is b of 1 what is b of 1 the sum of the elements from which is a maximum value you can get from 1 to 6 right so that is what here you can get it but the thing here what you need to do here is i'll take first this one and i'll take here 2 so 0 2 that means by deleting this the element 1 what is a maximum value i'll get so what is a maximum sum i'll get i'll check it out next i'll take here 1 here 3 so 1 3 that means f of 1 b of 3 so i'll add it so that i'll get what is the maximum value if i delete this one middle element 2 so like this i'll check it out wherever i'll get the maximum that is our answer right so that anyway i'll check it out with largest also so the thing i'll start here so the thing is maximum of i have to start like this so maximum of f of i minus 1 plus of plus of b of i plus 1 so this values i have to take and this has to be maximum with largest this part i have to check it out whichever is the maximum that will be our answer that has to be checked out first okay yeah i'll start from here okay i'll start from here maximum of first zero what is the value here minus two here two so seven minus two which is five i'll get here as five and the largest is seven so largest is seven as it is so that means five only you are getting okay that is what you have to remove you, you have to take out first and uh, next i'll go incrementing like this one and three so minus three plus three this is zero so here it is seven next next here two comma four four plus four what is four plus four eight right so eight is the answer but here you have seven so which is a maximum eight now you store the values that means the index here you are getting is in the forward you are getting the index as uh, two and backward you are getting index as four so two four that means you are deleting the third element then i am getting max till now till now anyway i have to go till the next now next i value i'll increment here three here five right so our two four is over next three and five what is the value here you are getting three here here six here three plus six which is nine yeah now you can see again one more maximum eight comma nine which is nine is a maximum now forward i am getting three backward i am getting five so three five means i am deleting the fourth element so that i'll get the maximum till now i'll go like this here four here and six so four and six what is the value here one here five one plus five six so there is no new maximum right so nine is only the answer like this you can go 
tell this here okay uh, here two and you are getting nothing here like this you need to check it out now what is the maximum you are getting nine is a maximum value is our answer so in order to get that subarray anyway we know that three and five you are getting means the middle element four will be deleted so that we will get the subarray where you will get the maximum sum of course which is nine you are getting but how much left i need to go how much right i need to go how to get this one means so you have to go to that forward and you have to go to the left and check it out where you are getting the value which is negative or zero so till that you have to move and this is two here and coming to the front direction that means in backward here here you need to move like this until you will get zero or negative anyway here from four four index you can see the value six positive five six, positive like this and until zero anyway this is ending here that means i can go up till the last one so this is what i need to maintain which is a subarray this is a subarray two to six that means uh, two to so four minus one i'll write here four minus one minus two one and five which is my subarray i'll get the answer as nine with one delete element at most one deletion that means four plus five nine minus one plus one zero okay nine you will get it as answer so this is what you can do anyway i told you like you are taking you are traversing each element only once and of course twice only so you to maintain the two arrays so i uh, always okay n plus n which is 2n the complexity is n only it's not going to n square here and where two auxiliary arrays are required the space which is big of n so this is what about how to get the maximum sum subarray which is at most one deletion so the complexity here in the i use the concept of dynamic programming where every time i have taken the answer from the previous and i update it so like this we can check it out yeah we'll see the next problem in the next video lecture thank you